everybody, welcome back to part two of Death Ship One. This is a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> as we complete the adventure of Inquisitor Oberon through Trezine the Infinite's Tesseract Maze, having wave after wave of Tyranid pets thrown at him as the maze continually shifts and changes. Now, we have lost a team member, our medic unfortunately dead. Um, Inquisitor Oberon down to one health, saved by an asset card, and everybody else pretty banged up at all, almost, I think, a third of my health overall, and the entire team is now gone. Only two rooms remain. I've played through Alpha, I've played through Delta and Epsilon, it's just Beta and Gamma that remain. Um, and that means that we have, I guess, two more stories to tell before the end of this. Let's see if we make it to the end of Death Ship and escape! The Inquisitor can get his revenge on Trezine the Infinite. So, show you the table, show you the mission, and we'll get this underway. So we are set up for part two, the remaining squad. Now this is a mid-tech level squad. My officer here, Inquisitor Oberon, super beat up. One health remains, but because we survived, we will get to draw an asset card at the start of this mission. We have Fenton the Heavy with eight health. We have uh, Bravo the Medic, he is super dead. And then Delta, a soldier with four health remaining. Sierra with five health remaining. And then finally October with six health remaining. Uh, we have Two possible missions and one asset left. So we have a lure card. I'll probably burn this though to get some health back on the Inquisitor. So as the game ended, we do get to draw an asset card. We get a quick reload slash clearance. If you have a special weapon that either runs out of ammo or jams, you can play this card. The soldier can take a shoot action during their next activation as normal. Cool. Um, and then I think I'm gonna burn Lure into the discard pile and get two health back on Oberon. This poor Bravo is dead. <laughs> and let's see what mission we're playing. So uh, we have a three to six we can roll here. Nine, five. So that's gonna be Room Gamma. All right, and we're set up for Room Gamma. Now this one has an entry in the top left corner and an exit in the bottom right. Um, and then four flaming energy nodes across the middle of the table. Now during each of the event turns, uh, there will be a random six inch movement for these. If they bump into someone, they take damage. Um, if they, uh, sorry, the, they take a uh, D10 divided by three damage. So kind of like a D3, sort of, <laughs> running down. Um, or you could just roll a D3, which is Probably what I'll do, um, and then uh, the uh, the the thing starts in a new location and, and ends there. So these things are basically in a sort of bumper car around the table. Uh, if they touch a monster, the monster is destroyed. If they touch a person, um, the person takes D three damage. Uh, they can be seen through if you're both in contact with them, but then when it moves, it's going to damage you. Otherwise, they completely block line of sight. NASA token here and here, and the exit is down here. So. The squad is deployed next to the teleporter. This is the second, the penultimate room. And let's see who makes it. I think we start with the easy one first. We're gonna go with the heavy machine gun. It's gonna roll three dice. It's gonna start shooting the Rieger. And then, well, I guess we'll shoot this uh, Slavic and then we'll track over to the Rieger. Skill seven plus for my heavy. Uh, one with a 10. Two, so the 10 will definitely, or sorry, actually just one. The 10 will definitely destroy that Slavic and we'll take it. Then he gets to make a move if he wants. Oh God. I think we're just gonna hug the wall and hope this thing doesn't get close to us. Well, then we're gonna go with old October. He's gonna take a shot with his las gun into this uh, Riger, which is a gene stealer. Get an eight, which is an even number, so that kills it. And then he'll also walk six. Good job, October. You're gonna hopefully not get hit by this energy globe. Us is gonna do much the same thing, except he's gonna move first so that he can get a proper line of sight, but also be furthest away from the bad guys. Take a shot into that. Ah, yeah, and that's Slothic as well. A six will miss. Getting seven plus as well, then we'll go Delta. Taking a shot. Uh, seven will knock him down. He'll also move six. We're gonna kind of hug the wall, I think. Getting a bit closer. Ah, uh, do we split the party? We split the party. Otherwise, we could just get manhandled by one of these things. And then it's just... Sierra will also shoot that Slothic. Gets a seven, which knocks it down again, but ignores that. Because of course it is made from tentacle monster. Move is a second action. So that's us. All right. Random movement six inches. This one. Don't come towards us. Don't come towards us. Top of the D10s the direction. Oh, no. Uh, Takes sort of D3 damage. Uh, two damage. He's down to two remaining as the energy sphere bumps him. This one. 
goes three, so well, not three, but it goes straight up this way. Oh, they're, they're hunting them. They've been penned in. Over here, it's gonna go this way. Imagine they just start bumping all around the, it could happen that they all start bumping around the exit and I can't get to it. Can't move through them. Over here, I have to climb though. And it's gonna go six this way, like that. Vent roll, four. Place a Riger in a center of a random disc. They just come popping out of them. Um, so I had D8. Left to right, one to two. So six is this one. <laughs> so just a Riger just comes hurtling out of the hatch there. And the monsters go, so this one's gonna stand up, which means it's minus three movement. So it only moves five, it's only gonna move two. Then this Riger goes seven. Comes hurtling towards Delta. The next closest is over here, so it's gonna walk five towards uh, Fenton, and then this Riger goes six, which is the other side of that, and then five again. And the monsters have all moved! So new soldier in phase. Oh dear. Alright, well, let's see how you do first. <laughs> you're important. So you're gonna fire your heavy weapon uh, and chuck some dice downrange into this Riger and hopefully spread him around. Slam him! Uh, so seven's the only hit, and that'll knock him down. Ah, uh, yeah, might as well. Oh no, let's knock down this guy. No, because if we knock him down, we could get him with another knockdown. He's gonna charge in. <laughs> Cause that's what heroes do. Go get them, Fenton. Uh, then we'll go with you. You'll shoot the same knockdown target cause it increases our chances of actually killing him. Both miss. <laughs> and then you follow along. Oh, this isn't good. And then the boss is gonna go his six, get in the middle and then start blasting. He'll shoot the knockdown one. Nothing. Well, that's not good. Delta, shoot the Rieger on a eight plus. We kill him on an even number. Nothing. Oh no. Mm, double back. No, you just move. Just go get in the war. You're gonna shoot him as well. <sighs> Nothing. Not good. And then we run in behind our buddy. Watch his back. All right, the energy spheres move. So this one keeps going. So it bumps the wall. It stops. This one. Ooh, goes this way. So I think that's gonna vaporize this guy. And I think it just misses Sierra. This one over here, straight back, bumps the wall. And then this one over here, goes six. Oh, it just annihilates this guy. Boom. It's monster in time. You get up and the closest one's gonna be Delta. So in you go. All right, Delta. Seven plus combat roll, fight roll. Gets him, so drives him back, knocks him down. He's over here going into Fenton, same thing. 10, Fenton just kills him, it's up. And then into Sierra, going five. Fight roll, three. Oh no, a three with this guy is five damage. He only has five left, he's dead. Oh, we lost another one. Sierra is down. Well, it's a new soldier turn. I think this is where we make a dash for it. <sighs> what do we open up with? We open up with you, just to see how, how well you do. You're gonna blast this knockdown Rieger. And a 10 will kill him. Forgot to roll for the event for this turn. Whoops. It's a, that's a D12. Ash, roll, roll the right die. An eight. Place a Drekkel in a random corner. Oh no, somebody would've gotten shot. Uh, random corner. So we'll do D8 again. So, uh, one to two clockwise, seven, it's over here. It wouldn't have affected anything because he would have just moved last turn. He wouldn't have been in 16. So he would have just be, he'd be here at the start of the turn. So then you've shot, you killed that Rieger, now you get to move. I think the heavy goes, and he's gonna move to get line of fire to this guy. Blast him. Three shots, we need a 10 to kill him, otherwise he's just knocked down. Uh, two nines will knock him down, then kill him, because thank goodness he's a heavy weapon. The armor special rule. Uh, then you're gonna blast this Slythic for an eight, which will straight kill him. And then you'll move. And I think the Inquisitor runs. And the four team members, so the Inquisitor's gonna run his nine. So six to there, and then three more. Puts them just kind of in the middle of everything like that. I didn't realize they bounce. If they touch each other or the wall, there wasn't a lot of remaining room left. They might have like come down slightly, but if they generate a move where they touch it, they bounce back. So they do actually ping pong and just stop. They they mostly finish their moves on top of that though. So they'd be like maybe an inch, like maybe like I'll just move them back like a half an inch to an inch because they were almost there. Start with this one. It goes sideways. So it's going to go four inches 
to the wall and then and then bounce back to not that way because that's into the wall into the wall into the wall into the wall stop it oh my god <laughs> they do the wall back this way so it ends up going one two to here so it ends up two inches away like this this one goes six inches this way and just stops uh, this one over here goes whoa, no, right into Fenton. So it goes six inches, ends over top of him. He gets pushed to the edge of it. He takes two damage. So he's got six left. Uh, then this last one over here uh, goes into the wall one inch and then comes back. Comes back five inches this way. So ends up like right there. Vent phase eight. Place a Dreckle in another random corner. I hate the Dreckle so much. Uh, one, two, three, so one, two, three. Dreckles are coming with their guns. Can't see through this, which means they'll move five towards us. And then it's gonna blast him with its gun. Don't do it, fight roll. Three, no! Three is four damage, he's only got two left. Delta's down. Oh, this is bad. Okay, so whoever has the most health left needs to cover the dash to the exit. So I think we go new soldier phase. We're just gonna dash nine. Someone has to make it. The Inquisitor has to make it at all costs. Maybe we get lucky. You're gonna move your six to be the closest target. And then you're gonna blast that Drekkel. Two dice, you're gonna get a 10. 10, <laughs> nothing. And you're gonna move over to here and pick up this asset. Let's see what we get. We get Hand of Fate. Uh, you play this card anytime to reroll one or more dice. You may reroll uh, any one of them. All right, well, let's see where this goes. Comes back six inches. They're coming back towards us. I like that it maintained the direction it was moving after it bounced off the wall. That, that somehow pleases me. This one comes back this way too. Oh, that makes me really happy that they're like still moving in the direction they're supposed to. Uh, this one <laughs> goes one inch, bangs into this, and then gets a new direction. Uh, backwards. I should probably just reverse what I'm rolling. So it'd be five inches this way because it ping pongs off of it. Whoop. And this one, just, just go that way. No! <laughs> I get hand to fade it, but I'm not going to. It's going to go over here. Whew. Oh, Delta's down. We're down to half the team. All right, well, do you live? Mr. Dreckel shoots. Three. That's five again. He's only got six, so he's got one left. Oh my god. Well, it's not going great. <laughs> New soldier phase. The team's almost entirely dead. We lost half the crew. I think we start with you and you oh sorry in the event phase. Forgot the event phase. Ten. The player may choose one disc and remove from the table and place a Rieger in front of the exit. Oh no! There's a Rieger here and I could remove one of these. I would just remove the furthest one. It's down. Okay. So this guy would have moved too and come running into us. We do a fight roll. Come on, Inquisitor. Uh, we knock him down. Blam. Now it's a new turn. So, oh, I think, I think October. I think you're gonna you're gonna take one for the team. You're gonna uh, no. We're gonna start with you actually, and you're gonna three dice block because you're not making the exit anyway. You're gonna three dice blast this Rieger or this uh, Drekel, the Chainsaw Hybrid, the Bolter, and see if we can kill him. A sudden will knock him down. Not that that does much. You'll move your six, heading towards the exit. Uh, you're gonna blast him, because you're also not making it. And get a five, which does nothing. Move your six towards the exit. And then the Inquisitor is going to blast this Riger. Get an eight and kill him. And then he'll take off. And just, ah! No, because October must live. We're gonna stand at the exit. We're not gonna leave yet. We're gonna risk it for one more turn and see what happens. <laughs> All right, so these things. Three, it's gonna go backwards. This one here, it's gonna go this way. So it's gonna go like three inches and then bounce off this way, three more inches. And then this one comes back six. Shoot over here. I think this is October's time. I think he's gonna die. Uh, we'll see what the event phase is first. Six. Place a Slethic on the center of a random disc. So one of these guys, uh, we'll just do one to four and then to the right. So just, just, just pops out of the hatch. He's closest, so down he comes, hurtling towards October. 
And then he stands up and just fires his bolter. And we hope for a 9-10. On a 9-10, October lives. Nine lives, nine is zero. Yeah! I can't believe the team's gonna get away. Well, for spite, we're gonna shoot as we go. Blast them, blast them October, nothing. And then you leave with one health left. Uh, the boss knocks him over and then leaves with three health left. Heavy, just uh, just shoot that Drekel that missed. Uh, seven was knocking over. Also will leave. Oh my God. It's the final room. We've only got, we lost two crew in that one. We're down to like almost nobody left. And I think what we've got is we, got, we have our assets we can still draw. The Inquisitor's alive with three health. And so is our heavy and one of our troopers. So we get to draw a new asset card. Full auto! You may play this card whenever a soldier makes a shooting attack. The soldier can make two shoot actions, but does not get a move action. Those are all really cool. But you know what else is really cool? Having more health. So we're going to discard all three of these. And we're going to go into this last mission with five, three, and eight health. So we survived to room five, but almost everybody's dead. It's... It's not good. <laughs> this is it, the final literal gauntlet, room beta, as the Inquisitor and his remaining team of one poor security force, one Inquisitorial Stormtrooper and his heavy weapon ganger, Fenton, um, make their way to the final teleporter. They hope. This is room five. Now there's 12 pillars here, and it's sort of the event phase. Every single one of them could become electrified and every, um, Hero model takes a point of damage if they're within six of it. The aliens totally ignore it. So I feel like my best bet just to not get hit, to minimize my chances, is to pick a side and run down that side towards the exit. Just like skirt the columns and head towards it. Because there's there's a one in six chance basically then that I get zapped each turn as opposed to a one in three um, or a two in six basically. And the, uh, the forces will be forced to come to me as I try and get across here. Everybody's super low health. The Inquisitor's down to five, uh, October's down to three, and Fenton the Heavy is down to eight. Two assets left, I burned them all for health, and that's it. But there's two asset tokens, these little dumpsters here and here, that may hopefully give us some, sort of, we'll probably only get one of them, but it'll give us something on the way in. There's only literally two asset coat tokens left in the entire game, because uh, when they're gone, they're gone. So this is it, the final room, soldier phase. Well, I think we start with the Heavy. And anyway, we're going to start blasting, so we're going to go six. And we're going to fire our heavy weapon. Fire for effect. We're going to start slamming into this uh, slap like the Tyranid Warrior. Three dice. Whoops, a nine and a five. So a seven and a nine. We'll knock him down. And then we'll knock down this Riger as well. Odds over seven means just knockdowns. Uh, then we're going to go with October. He's going to walk over here. Try and kill this Riger. Knocking him down again doesn't do anything, so we'll shoot the Riger instead. Better chance of killing. Four and a three do nothing though. And then it's just the boss. He's just gonna leg it. Mm, right now we're very close to two pillars. So I think we run nine. We go three to here. And then six more. And then we're just gonna hope our combat skill takes this instead. Love the idea of getting zapped. So start of the event phase. Uh, it's going to be D6 twice. One to six, they electrify along the top. Five, this one zaps, but the aliens ignore it. And then along here, four, this one zaps, but the aliens ignore it. Oh, we got lucky. All right, creatures. So standing up and attacking the boss. Two melee dice, though, for the fight action. And eight will just kill him. Good job, Inquisitor. We stand up and go two with the Slothic. But then this Riger will also charge. Two fight dice just has to hit with one. Seven will do it. Knocks him down, though. Doesn't kill him. Any beasties just run. This one goes seven, so it'll just be at the other side. He'll go five and be in behind. And then he'll go seven as well, and we'll just measure that around him. Ooh, soldier in phase. Oh, man. Well, I think we go with the boss. He's just going to blast this fella. Get him with a nine, and the knockdown will kill him. And then go six around. So three, and then six. He'll end up in base to base with the item, but not actually pick it up. And it's Fenton the Heavy. Hmm. We just need you to be closer. So you're actually, we're going to go with you first. You're going to shoot this uh, Slothic and <laughs> just eight, just kill him. Cause you're, 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 you're done with whatever's happening here. And then you're going to move six. Being the closest target. Oh, I forgot to roll the event for last turn. What was it? Seven place a Drekel in a random column. Oh no. Go D 12 clockwise and see if it mattered. 
12, it was right here, <gasps> which means it would shoot him. Oh no. Last creature phase. 10, misses completely. Fantastic. Good options. Well, that, that kind of changes what you're doing now, doesn't it? I guess you're blasting this guy. Three dice. Big numbers, no whammy. Uh, nothing. At least you have the most health, so you can be the closest to it and hopefully not die. Event phase, what gets electrified? So D6 for these columns, not that it really matters. This one electrifies and then down going this way. Five is this one, so you don't get zapped. This will be the Draco. He's gonna take a shot again into Fenton. Two, no, five damage. <gasps> He's down to three. Fenton, you are a hero. His raggers move and they go straight in after October. And then so does the Slothic. And event phase, what else showed up? Because <laughs> I keep forgetting to do that too. No event, fantastic. For that please, new soldier phase. Okay, well. These guys are coming no matter what I do, so I think we have the boss fight them because he's the best at doing it. So you're going to shoot this Drekkel because they're horrifying. And a six will do nothing in either case. And then you're going to leg it six inches this way. This is going to pick up from the assets. Sprint. Play this card whenever you move a soldier, move them an extra three inches. I like that. Uh, and we're going to move six as well and just stand next to this column and be the closest to these Riger. And then you, Fenton, who is almost dead, are going to blast this Drekkel, who is horrifyingly dangerous, and get the ten... No, that's a one, actually. And get an eight, which is not a kill but a knockdown, and that's all we get. We're in that sprint card, and you're going to go nine. We're going to get you to safety. This plus three more. Because the boss now has the most the most HP. Inquisitor, lead from the front. This is all you can do. So events, first of all. It doesn't really matter, but this one goes off. And then down here, four, the one we're standing right next to. So everybody takes a point of damage. That was not the turn we wanted that to happen. And you guys are both down to two. All right, here we go. We're starting with the closest. In comes this Ryger and fights the boss. He's got two combat dice. We have to get at least one hit here, not take any damage. A nine will knock him back and knock him down. Striger coming on in and fights. An eight will just straight kill him. This fella cannot see, so, or cannot make it, it'll just go five. And then the Drekkel stands up and shoots. You'll have to move next turn to get into combat. We'll see what happens. Nine, he's fine, no damage. Retro roll for the event yet again. Five. Uh, place a Riger next to a random column. So D12 clockwise, eight. Uh, six, seven, eight. There's just another one right here. Surprise! <laughs> Charges the Inquisitor again. Who has to fight? Never expect a random gene stealer! Eight will kill him though. Yeah, can't surprise Oberon. It's a new turn. Okay. Oberon, I think we just get out of dodge. This is it. We're gonna go our nine and basically be in like extraction mode next turn. Just in case we can possibly get away from the columns on the other side. Uh, October, you're gonna shoot this wounded on the ground guy. Seven will knock him down again, which will kill him. That Rager's gone. You'll also bodyguard. Get the Inquisitor to safety. Do it. And Fen, it's you. But you're not gonna worry about this guy. You're killing this Drekkel. You're gonna do it. This is what you were born for. This is what you trained all last week for. This is what you woke up randomly in a Tesseract maze next to an Inquisitor, and he was your best chance to get out of here for. Nine, knock him down. You also book <laughs> to this corner. All right, which one electrifies? One right here, and then one to six. Don't do it. Two. Event phase. What happens? Three. Place a slethic in front of the exit. Oh no! No! <laughs> I was gonna get away. It back shoots the inquisitor. What happens. Nine again. Believe I just survived that. That's insane. Uh, next closest, this Slathic moves up five. Side 16, but he's gonna stand up and then only move two, and I think he's out of range this turn. I think knocking him down, Fenton did the job. Hey, the columns are lined up perfectly that they can't see me. So this is it. Fight your way out. We're starting with Fenton. You knock down one, you still got some bullets left. Kill the next one. Let's get out of here. Six, nothing, and no doubles. And then we move to the exit, but we don't quite make it off. Because this guy's blocking it. Uh, October. Take a shot, buddy. Two shots into this guy, into the Slethic. Seven knocks him down. And then you can move your six back. Once again, bodyguard the Inquisitor. 
Oberon, blast him. You just need a hit. Just get a hit. He's already knocked down. Nine's enough for another knockdown, which will kill him. And Oberon exits the table. Ho, ho, ho. All right, which of these electrify? Uh, threes over here. And then at the top ones, which don't really matter, four over here. Uh, event phase. It's a four. Place a Ryger next to a random column. Elevens over here. Another gene star comes popping out. Everybody advances. You're going to go seven. It's a little extra than that widget. And then you're going to go five. And I think you've got somebody in range this turn. Yeah, you're in range. Okay, October. Did you make it to the end of the movie? Did you do it? Six. Oh, how much is six? Six is exactly two damage. Bam, October's dead. Last of the Imperial Security Force is dead. And then it's just Fenton, the ganger, the forming ganger with his shuriken catapult. Start of the next turn, he blasts the guy that killed his friend, gets double eights, which is a knockdown followed by a knockdown, and then leaves the table. And so at the end of it all, it's just Fenton and Oberon, ironically, who make it to the final chapter and escape the Maze of Trezine, with a total of six health out of 72 remaining at the end of the little campaign. And so you go with the dramatic and also kind of nail-biting conclusion to Death Ship 1 as Inquisitor Oberon and his heavy, the ganger Fenton, that they wake up in the Tesseract base together, um, manage to escape with. Uh, you can imagine now there's a showdown with Trezine, who in my like headcanon for the Necrons is basically just Skeletor, and he goes, Nyah! Sorry, He-Man! And leaves. <laughs> and they end up back at the beginning of the maze or some such. So, big thoughts about this game at the end of it all. Great replay value. It's going to be different every time you play it. Um, tons of opportunity for co-op. And what I'd like to do going forward is find someone to partner with and run the whole thing again with a different tech level and um, like a co-op game. So probably using the high tech level maybe next. And then each of us gets two of the like the, the comp marines or terminators or whatever. And then just do the whole thing again basically as maybe some like marine chapter gets sent to look for Inquisitor Oberon because time doesn't matter in here. Uh, they're behind them or after them or whatever. And they also have to fight their way through the, the death maze of Trezine. So anyway, big thanks for watching. There it is, Death Ship 1. Uh, you can check out Blaster Volume 4 in the um, video description below for yourself. Uh, and until next time, I'm Ash. Have a great day. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games already recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.